A Jones County bladesmith competed on a History Channel show aiming to slash through the competition. Sabrina Burst talked to Mickey Thompson. Sabrina joins us in studio with more on Mr. Thompson and his knives. That's right, Frank. Tonight on the 100th episode of Forge and Fire, four bladesmiths, including Thompson, went head to head in a series of tests to ultimately see who could make the best sword and bring home a $10,000 prize. Mickey Thompson has been a bladesmith for the last 15 years. I like playing in the fire. And on Wednesday, he was featured on an episode of Forge and Fire on the History Channel to show off his craft. It's a lot of hard work. It's nerve wracking. And but you walk away with a sense of pride because you gave it your all. You left everything there on the forge floor. Thompson says making the blades is more than a hobby. And once you play in the fire, you make your first blade and, and or you play in the coal and make your first blade. It's it's addictive. Thompson says it can take several hours to forge a crane cable into a bar, into a blade, into a knife. But he says seeing the finished product is his favorite part. To me, it's a piece of art versus just a plain piece of steel that's being ground out. And sometimes art isn't always perfect the first go round. So there's a lot of struggle, but as, as time goes on, you know, you wind up picking the old pieces back up and turn them into something new. And he can only describe the craft in one way. It's a passion. It is definitely a passion. Now Thompson says the making blades is more than a hobby and he hopes to do this full time after he retires and guess what Frank he won a big chunk of change $10,000. Oh that's phenomenal great stuff thanks very much Sabrina we congratulate Mickey Thompson says he actually started learning the craft from a group called the Okmulgee Blacksmith Guild and he obviously learned very well.